you right, man? The Black Adder. What you about? Insides, damage, destruction. Why insides, man? Why not? All American destruction, kid. But Yo. you right? But you say you right, man? Killer keeps recognized. I just love doing insides, kid. That shit is just real, raw, hardcore. So why do you like bombing? It's just some real shit, man. It's just the real the release frustration. That's the best way to release frustration. So I noticed that you're using that Garvey, man. What's up with that? Ah, uh, see, they think it's Garvey. It's, it's really, it's magic. That's what it is. See, everybody running out getting the Garvey. They thinking that's what it is. They thinking that's what this is. But this that real potion, number nine. I hear you, man. You add a little extra something to oh, it? Oh, oh, definitely, kid. I see that even after the buff, your shit still runs, man. Still runs. They can't paint it. They can paint it. It's going to seep back through. They can sand it. It goes through layers and layers of paint. That shit holds no way. It holds no way. It holds no way, man. The potion that the, the hard crew got, that shit is just real, man. There's a lot of motherfuckers out there, a lot of knuckleheads, you know what I'm saying, that just don't respect nigga shit. You know what I mean? That shit is just fake. Just straight fake, man. Just, just straight jockstrap dick riding motherfuckers. What do you think of the state of bombing trains in New York City is right now? Well, it's kind of fucked up. You got like a marriage, it's like a certain amount of niggas doing it. You know what I'm saying? Then it's like people just it's scared to do it. It's straight up, they have no heart. They figure like since the shit is clean, what the fuck is the sense of writing on a train? You know what I'm saying? But I write on it no matter what, if it's bombed or if it's not bombed. I'm there to get that shit birth. That's my whole point. When I bomb the train, that's giving it birth, baptizing that shit, blessing it. Letting niggas know that I'm still out there doing my thing. It represents your mentality straight up and down. Let you know where your mind at. Let you know straight up and down where your mind at. You can't you can't you can't just do regular street shit. You gotta go do some wild shit that's gonna be permanent. Word up. You got any message to um to graffiti bombers? Any just keep doing your thing. For real, keep doing your thing. Whatever it is, it's graph. Whatever it is.
a new way of getting over with graffiti. Obviously, um, as you can see, I'm, I'm very much influenced by Revs and Coughs. And what Revs was doing was basically bringing new tools into the game. We brought rollers, wheat paste. I extended a little further with brushes. I always kind of liked what they did, but I always thought it could be just a little bit cleaner. So that's why I went this route. Gates are probably the last bit of refuse left on the New York streets. Pretty soon they'll be cleaned up too. They'll be a thing of the past, and I'll be really sad when they go. So this is a little tribute to what used to be what they called the ride screens, but now are just roll down gates or gates. I'm trying to transform, trying to take what obviously is a negative, um, obviously trying to shut out the neighborhood. I'm trying to bring myself into that, I'm trying to place myself between whatever it is they're trying to protect back there and the neighborhood that is supposed to be a buffer zone between. I want to stand in the middle of that. So that's why I like gates. Gates are fresh. How many of these have you done so far? I've done 30 gates so far. Uh, today we did 29 and 30. I try to work with the surface, work with the corner, and, and flip it a little bit. Uh, I'd like to probably get around, if I can get to 100, that'd be really dope, but I think I settled for 50. What's the borough that has the most of them? Most of them are in the Bronx. The Bronx got about 12 of them. So there's, you know, obviously a hell of a lot of roll down action going down in the Bronx anyway. So I just keep seeing spots in the Bronx and just dreaming about them and going and getting them. But uh, Staten Island's got one. I don't know if that's enough, but that's what I got going on there now. Brooklyn's probably second. It probably got about eight to ten in Brooklyn. And I got some in Manhattan, some in Queens. What about the people that are going to say, yo, this thing will feed you? They're going to have to say that because I'm removing all their other lines of defense. That's their last defense to actually going out and doing something for themselves is to just sit back and try and talk down about what I do. So. To them, I say maybe you're right, but only maybe you. I think the rest of the world recognizes what I'm doing. There's a lot of these throughout the city. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say it, you wouldn't say it, but what if someone might make the allegation that you might be trying to go all city with these? Well, the allegation could be made. I don't want to step on anybody's toes. That's a very dangerous phrase to be throwing around. I see a lot of people putting in a lot of hard work, so for right now, I'm just trying to like, show my respect to the city of New York and try and give the city of New York something to show my appreciation. That's it. This is my little my little thank you card. Right here. I got 28 30 of them now. Thank you, New York.
1.57 p.m. Thomas is off to Blooper again. Give me a call. Be, be, 517, no, 3226. I really need to talk to you, man. Uh, your boy Zero and Hands are doing a lot of damage on my trains, and uh, I'm taking a lot of heat because of your uh, your artwork, too, man. So give me a call and uh, see if you can help me out and help yourself out, all right? And, uh, well, hang out. I got a lot of pictures I want to show you, too. Thursday, 1.19 a.m. Yeah, Tommy, it's Kaboot again. Uh, your, your boys there, they uh, hit the layup at 95th again. You know, I'm, I'm trying to uh, be your friend here, and you're not giving me any options. Uh, I don't know what to tell you, buddy. Your, your friends are really fucking you over now. Uh, why don't you give me a call, all right there, guy? Right here, videograph. These are fucking number one fucking enemies. These are the fucking pussy-ass niggas. Y'all niggas are gonna fucking die! Die! TD BS crew, kid. What's up with this, this bombing thing that you went to right now, man? Uh, just keeping it real, going out every night, emptying cans, kid. That's what it's all about, fucking keeping it real, yo. All y'all toys, man. Y'all ain't nobody. I'm not even gonna mention y'all names. Y'all know who you are, man. Y'all ain't no fucking body. Y'all pussy, man. What kind of feel do you get when you out bombing? I relieve my stress, man. That's the only way. If I relieve my stress in other ways, a lot of kids would be dead, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I grab that can, that shit lets everything out. You kind of got a little war going on with certain crew out in Brooklyn and whatnot, man. What's yeah, up with that? those pussy niggas. I'm not even going to say who you are. Y'all niggas know who you are. When I get you, kid, I'm going to fuck you up, son. That's it, son. I'm not going to talk, man. I know who you be. 